my name is Dr. Mazansky and I specialize in medical hypnosis, guided visualization, nutrition and exercise. My website is drmedicalhypnosis.com drmedicalhypnosis.com upon which you can find all your uh, uh, hypnosis videos that will be able to assist and empower you to treat yourself. Today's health tip is going to be about 26 fat-fighting foods. First of all, yogurt is extremely healthy, Greek yogurt especially, more than regular yogurt because Greek yogurt has high doses of protein in it and it uh, prevents uh, weight gain because it's extremely low in sugar. The next is quinoa. Quinoa is a whole grain and this uh, whole grain has the highest amount of protein in it than any other of the whole grains such as barley and similar whole grains. Tabbouleh is also extremely beneficial for health, high in protein and uh, low in calories. Remember it is important to eat those foods that are low in calories but do not add additives that are going to counteract that by putting in uh, butter or fat substances because then you negate the effect of the weight losing benefit. Cinnamon. In the last few years cinnamon was found to be extremely healthy especially for diabetics. If they take uh, cinnamon, uh, will be in the form of a capsule for diabetics, they can reduce their blood sugar. It's a natural product and it's got, and it is absolutely harmless. Hot peppers can curb your appetite as it is shown that hot spicy food tends to rev up the metabolism and you tend to eat less. Green tea. Uh, green tea is purported to improve belly fat and reduce weight. It also has healthy cachetins, which are the active substance responsible for the weight loss. Grapefruit. For people who are on a diet, grapefruit can really help in as much as it has a large amount of water and you eat the grapefruit and you feel full and you don't want to eat more uh, food after that. Similarly, watermelon has a large amount of water in it. You eat the watermelon, you don't feel hungry because it has the fluid but it's also high in an antioxidant called lycopene. Lycopene which also comes in tomatoes and lycopene is uh, supposed to help the prostate and help the heart um, and the brain. Pears and apples, extremely beneficial for dieters. Uh, it is, has a lot of fiber in it, in, water included, nutrients, and especially if you eat it with the peel. Peeling these uh, two fruits will reduce your amount of nutrients. However, we know that pears can have a lot of uh, pesticide toxin, so it's better if you have organic pears rather than the regular type. Grapes. Grapes are high in water and they are high in resveratrol which is extremely heart protective and that's where the red wine comes from comes from grapes. So if you can't eat, don't drink some red wine you can eat grapes and especially the Concord grape 
it's darker and it's higher in antioxidants and polyphenols. Mixed berries, again, very good, very healthy fiber and water. And out of all the berries, it is the blueberry that is purported to have one of the highest oxidants, uh, antioxidants in it, as well as blackberries. Blackberries tend to have a higher, one of the highest antioxidant contents of all foods. They are low in glycemic index, which means a glycemic index is determined the amount of the food that you eat, how quickly it raises the blood sugar. So we want to go with low glycemic foods because your blood sugar is not raised so quickly and in so doing prevents obesity. Raw vegetables, especially as a snack, it is extremely beneficial for health. You can take a piece of celery, put on some uh, peanut butter, and you've got an afternoon snack or a mid-morning snack. Broccoli, likewise. All the vegetables, where possible, should be eaten raw, as the cooking process tends to negate the beneficial effect of the vegetable. Air pop, air dried popcorn, very healthy as long as you don't put on the butter and the salt, but dry, dry air pop popcorn has a, a great deal of fiber or roughage as it's called and beneficial for weight loss. Nuts are extremely healthy. In as, especially the almonds and the walnuts, in as much as they contain a large amount of uh, omega-3 fatty acids which protect the heart and the brain against heart attacks and strokes. But beware the quantity. You should not eat more than uh, one or two tablespoons once or twice a day as a snack. Sweet potatoes are far better than white potato because the sweet potato, again, has low glycemic index and is loaded with nutrients far more than the white variety. In the same genre as yams, yams are extremely healthy. They have that dark yellow color which is uh, to orange color which is high in carotenes and low glycemic index, doesn't raise the blood sugar healthy for you. Eggs. Eggs are very beneficial for people who are on a diet or if, even if they're not because it is very high in protein and please do not worry about the cholesterol unless you suffer from high cholesterol. Surprise it to say that it is not the fat that causes your cholesterol to be increased, but it is the carbohydrates. Eating a lot of carbohydrates, the simple carbohydrates, that raises your cholesterol. This fact was first described by the late Dr. Atkins and he was vilified for his thoughts. After his death, however, it was proved in a lot of major studies at major medical schools and universities that he was correct in his assumption. Cut out the carbohydrates and you lower your cholesterol. Coffee, yes, coffee is healthy for you. It speeds up the metabolism. Because it's dark, it has antioxidants. And there are one or two studies that have shown that in uh, cases of extreme cancer where the cancer is metabolized, where it is metastasized. Up to 10 cups of coffee are beneficial and it does not raise your blood pressure. Oatmeal, extremely healthy to lose weight, um, but do not get the oatmeal that's sweetened with sugar. Get the oatmeal and heat it up because heated foods, when you're eating hot oatmeal, you tend to eat slower 
and uh, you will definitely not get a high sugar reaction. Crisp breads uh, are made of whole wheat, usually and far better than eating a white bread. Whole wheat bread, a slice or two is good during the day, but if you eat the whole wheat crackers, it's even better. Beans are extremely beneficial for health. They are high in protein, high in um, fiber, and vegetarians, that's where they get most of their protein from, is from beans. Uh, you don't need a large amount, but the mixed beans, a variety of mixed beans are healthy. Fish is a good standby. It doesn't have high cholesterol. The seafoods does not cause weight gain. Well, of course, if you have too much. But the seafoods and the fish, some of them are high in omega-3 fatty acids, such as the salmon, uh, the swordfish, the herring, uh, pultured, etc. And last but not least is red meat. Red meat without the fat is beneficial for health. You should have four to six ounces uh, per serving, not too much, but do eat it because it has vitamin B12 and it can help prevent pernicious anemia. As long as the fat is removed, eat the healthiest, uh, uh, eat the red meat that is low in fat. And there we have 26 fat-fighting foods that if you watch the quantity and eat those that I've said, together with exercise can only lead to weight loss. My name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky and I thank you for watching this health tip.